and the uh, mainlanders use this as a control tool uh, to pump on fire all these different things of milk powder. They never trust the milk powder in uh, mainland China because of milk scandals. They painted the milk scandals, so they bought them all kind of jewelry. So I'm just There is a cost that they might try to distance from the students. Uh, that's an amazing thing to realize, and also the leadership in Beijing yeah. uh, the stock market to go down, yeah, for, for forever. Uh, they no, don't. they don't, because right now China, the Chinese economy is getting a very, you know, very hard uh, situation right now. They don't want anything to trigger an economic meltdown like we had. They want to love you so much. But on the other hand, they also want to let this time to let the Hong Kong know that that's what you guys are doing and then that's going to ruin the city economically. And because all the big, they, they, they try to play the cards saying that all the big corporations will try to relocate to Singapore and other places because Hong Kong is no longer considered a stable place. So they have kind of the economic. Uh, I'm talking with writer Wen Wang about the uprising in Hong Kong, and I wanted to work in something about uh, some of the students uh, we've seen uh, the crimes. And amazingly, uh, this Joshua Wong is a 17-year-old uh, student who is connecting people, and you know they say he's responsible for this Bluetooth connection that everybody has gone to. And thousand people signed up for this Bluetooth thing that's off the grid so that people, uh, protesters can communicate. Uh, it sounds like quite a ball of wax. It's actually one of the confused because even though this movement was orchestrated by the, a lot of the NGOs and um, pro-democracy activists, but students are playing a much bigger role in this. And this uh, Joshua Wong is a very uh, unique case, reminds me of the student leader we have. And then, but he became famous at the age of 15, so he had quite an experience of civil disobedience, this movement. And then in, uh, at the age of 15, the Hong Kong government tried to initiate a new curriculum called a Moral and National 